Hi, it's James Harrison. I'm here to do a reshoot another snare drum video for you. And the reason I'm doing it, this is my number one, my favorite snare out of all that I have. And this is a Paul Line signature snare by Yamaha. It is a six and a half by 14 seamless brass shell, 24 karat gold plated lugs and cast aluminum hoops. Again, six and a half by 14. It's got a uh, Remo coated ambassador on the top. It's quite warm because I used this drum quite a bit for a long time. It actually has a few dents in there. I should probably change the head. Also have the stock head on the bottom still because it always sounded so good. I never changed it. I have replaced the snares um, because I basically blew those out uh, on a hard hitting gig. And uh, I'm not sure what kind of snares these are. I got them from a music store. I like them quite a bit. If if I can find out what they are, I'll put it in the comments. The reason I'm reshooting this drum is because when I shot it the first time, I didn't have, um, well, I had a bass drum set up, but it was a mesh head, and so there was no, no sound from it. And the video is pretty dark because it was later in the evening and the eyes were glowing and weird. Looked like a zombie or whatnot. So I'm going to redo this one. So here it again, Paul Lime, Seamless Brass Shell, 6.5 by 14. My favorite out of all my snares. Uh, other people may, may may not like it as much, but to me, it has so many tuning possibilities and sounds good at so many that I like it. Right now, it's kind of tuned at a medium, medium high sound uh, with a little bit of a ring. I was kind of going for some of that bottom type ring. So here it is with no muffling whatsoever. Here we go. Okay, and all the other videos, I'm going to throw the Vader bus kill on here. It's going to, uh, hopefully it's not too dirty and it'll stick. It's going to drop the uh, pitch slightly and take away a lot of the overtones. And it's not sticking. I probably need to grab a, a fresh one. I've had this sitting out here for a while and I collect dust.
Let's move it on me. Off. One of my favorite features about this drum, or I mean, a lot of drums have it. On both sides of the uh, drum, you have your snare throw off and a, a butt plate, but you have an adjustment on either end. And uh, Paul Lime, in his one of his videos where he talks about this drum, demonstrates how he would take these and loosen them up to when he's playing ballads. Of course, Paul Lime's an amazing studio drummer who's done tons of. Uh, great recordings with lots of people. So I'm going to loosen the snare quite a bit. And I'm going to throw this uh, uh, big fat snare drum on here to kind of get that little bit of that 80s. And what I'm looking for now is to try to get the snares to last the beat of a song. It also comes across on the phone side. Tighten it up quite a bit. A little tighter. Yeah. Ah, that's about how long it is. Tighten it up more. So I'll give them one more tight, tighten up pose. Kind of the man eater beat. So I like the fact that you can get a lot of sounds out of this drum. And again, sounds out of this funk you can tune it up you can make it it's got a great cut a great crack to it uh, again it may not be the favorite of a lot of the ones uh, that I posted by some of the people who are watching them but for me it's my favorite Yamaha Paul Lime signature snare drum you can't beat them if you can find them they're just amazing drums.